guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm Steve and I am the Essex Vapor Reviews. Today we have got a new piece of hardware to review for your perusal and pleasure. As you can see, it is the new Top Airflow RTA from Geekvape, the Zeus X. And a quick shout out to Hip Hop Juice for sending this out to me for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much indeed. So we're going to have a quick look at the packaging what we get inside the packaging and then we're going to put a build in show you how we do that and then we'll head up top as per usual and we'll summarize and give you my thoughts on this new RTA so a quick look at the packaging first here's the front you can see a picture of the uh, lovely Zeus X RTA it's a leak proof RTA designed for ultimate flavor on the side we have some social media tags, the Facebook at Geekvape and obviously Instagram at Geekvape. Geekvape on the top, Zeus XRTA, Geekvape again. If we turn around to the back, we can see the usual warning labels, um, obviously the company Geekvape. The Zeus X is the final edition of the Zeus series specially designed for RTA enthusiasts and obviously then a, a brief description of the package contents so within the box I'll quickly show you what we get and this is what we get all right we get a spare glass spare straight glass 3.5 milliliter capacity the bubble glass that comes pre-installed is 4.5 milliliters two coils and some cotton various o-rings hex screws a hex tool screwdriver for your for your screws on the deck we also get the user manual to explain how to use it obviously we get the uh, geek vape i believe it's a warranty card yep warranty card warning card etc so you get them items and the style of show the RTA itself, the Zeus X RTA. I've got the gunmetal version. It's been sent out to me. It comes in a couple of other different colours. I'll just quickly pop a picture up now of the other colours. As you can see, I've been using this. So now what we're going to do, we're going to um, strip this down. We're going to put a build in it. Uh, and then take it for a vape. So give us a clue of ticks. I'll be straight back. Right guys, down on the build deck, I've already pre-installed the coils, as you can see, they're Chris Grimes Alien Frame Staples. And you get a good idea of the position. I cut the legs on my coil tool to 4mm. I've got the, uh, the flathead screws in there, which I've got to say, uh, how can I put it, not, not fantastic. Let's try and zoom that in, okay, there we go. I mean, I will probably change them out later to the hex screws. Uh, so just be a bit careful when you're tightening them up. Uh, you could end up slipping the screwdriver or, uh, you know, gaunching them screws up a bit. So that's kind of the height, as I said. And obviously you can double check to make sure you get your kind of ideal position by placing the uh, internal chimney just over over the top so you get an idea of your coil position so uh, you might just need to kind of adjust that accordingly to be honest with you guys uh, when you first use it so you get the kind of like but it's a it's an absolute doddle to build on well i'm just going to pop my cotton in so i've got my cotton in there as you can see i've used my old cotton threads and where i've been cutting it it's just to the side of the deck so let's give that a cut Like so. Likewise, this side, side of the deck, cut like so. And then what we'll do, we'll give it a rake out. It's just kind of, it, it just helps. With that capillary action, because obviously it's going to be sitting in the uh, sitting in the uh, wick, wicking pole, 
Now obviously it's got a bit of distance to travel. So we want to make sure it's reasonably raked out. So once we uh, feel like we've raked out enough, we'll just give that a little bit more of a cut. Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of a saturation in e-juice. And I'm using, as I said previously, the old PMP. So give it a good old soak. So that's all saturated in. Let me just kind of turn that around. Lift it up slightly. So you can see what I'm going to do next. Like so then let me just show you what we're going to do we're just going to tease it if you can see me doing that into just above see i'm doing it i'm just literally teasing it in to the top of that wicking port so i'm literally just edging it in edging it in, so just sitting just inside on top like so and obviously you can see it's just my, my little tweezers just sliding in there so it's not over packed but it's not too little either and I'm going to do the same on the other side so let me just tease that in and just bring that up so you can see me doing that here we go just tease it in like so as you see me, let me do that. Tease it in, tease it in. There we go, seasoning it in. Remember not to kind of pack it right out, just, just on sitting on top, just inside I'm doing it. So it's just slightly sitting inside that wicking pool. Just making sure. And look at that. So there you go, that's uh, all wicked up and ready to go. So what we'll do now, we're going to assemble that. I've got my chimney. Just bring that out. So I put my internal my chimney inside here. Pop it in. Take this off the air meter. Obviously one thing I'd, you probably didn't see me do, I did pulse the coils out prior to um, putting the cotton in, which I probably should have showed you, but I didn't. So, And then there's two little slots which line up with two little no noggins on the deck, which you can see there. Right, so then obviously I'll show the two noggins, then just twist up like so, do up. It's all good to go, all ready to vape. So, let's stick this on the mod. Beautiful stuff. Right, we're going to head back up top now and let you know my thoughts on this. Zeus X RTA. Catch you up top in a few ticks. Right guys, welcome back up top for my summary and final thoughts on the Geek Vape Zeus X RTA. What are my thoughts and what is my summary? Well, this is kind of like the third one in a trilogy from Geek Vape. We've had the Geek Vape dual coil, then we had the Geek Vape single coil RTA. Now we've got the Geek Vape Zeus X. So Zeus dual, Zeus single coil, now Zeus X. And I'll kind of compare this to uh, like a film trilogy, a trilogy, where it's uh, the first film is a cracking film, really good, everyone loves it. The second one they bring out, yeah, it's still good, but not as good as the first. Then the third one, Ah, we're kind of sick of it. Nowhere near as good as the first. Not even a patch on the second. 
Well, what the Geek Vape have done with this, it's like an evolution, evolution from the first to the second, and now they've evolved it into this Zeus X. And I'll tell you guys, they've done a cracking job on it, an absolute cracking job. Uh, from the actual build of it, the quality of the build, the ease of wicking, the ease of build, to the actual quality, flavour, experience in using it, it's bloody fantastic. I love it. Um, let me have a vape on it. I'm going to just vape it. It's fully open at the moment. I've got a pair of um, Chris Grimes coils. Which ones have I got? Let's have a Alien frame staples in there. They're coming in at 0.14 ohms, vaping at 78.5 watts. To show you what I mean. All I can say, I'm going to call this airflow Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross or Brian Ferry. It's a Brian Ferry airflow. Because it's super smooth. It is super, super smooth. Uh, as you're taking it, it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, I'll cut it down to halfway, and that's kind of where, roughly where I've been vaping it at, because it gives me that little bit of a restriction, but it's still very, very smooth indeed. So let's give it another vape. Airflow halfway now. You just can't complain with the airflow. It, it actually makes this RTA Brian Ferry airflow lovely a lovely smooth vape. Clad, you can see it's a proper Clad chucker, Clad machine. Love that too. And the flavour, well, I just can't argue with it. The flavour I'm getting off this, in my opinion, for a, a top airflow RTA, is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I've been vaping this uh, PMP from Candy Vape pineapple mango and peach getting all the lovely flavor notes off that juice beautiful absolutely beautiful i mean i actually really do love this rta from the, just the general design and the actual look of it it looks gorgeous it's absolutely lovely if you have a quick look top to bottom there's a couple of little things i just want to point out obviously the drip tip itself as you can see it's quite a short one that's maybe not going to suit everyone i don't mind it at all but obviously you can swap that out to an 810 drip tip of your choice um the top fill itself is very easy just undo half a turn it pops off then you feel anything i would point out with the the filling ports they're a little bit on the small side it's not a deal breaker for me obviously with a normal squeezy bottles they're going in nicely you might find with a drop of bottle you're going to need to be a bit more careful. The airflow control ring, I've had no problems. I don't pull it off when I take this off. But I know some people have been saying about the airflow control ring coming off when I take the, the top off. I've not done that, but it's something I need to point out. So I'll just grab it from the top and undo it. The section in the middle, lovely. Got the bubble glass with that, um, which is very nice indeed. And obviously then you've got the bottom and the one thing i will point out about the bottom because again it has been mentioned there is a, an o-ring on the bottom a ceiling ring uh, have to be a little bit careful when you're taking your tank apart it does sometimes come off when i say come off it comes off as you're stripping it apart so just keep an eye on it guys and, and obviously don't lose it just be aware when you're cleaning it that o-ring is on the bottom Going on to the internals, as I said, the build deck is a, like a raised hostless deck. Extremely easy, in my opinion, to build on. Um, I was cutting my coils at 4mm on my coily tool. Uh, you might just need to, initially when you first set it up, adjust the coil slightly to get to the exact spot. But obviously if you put the chimney, the internal chimney base next to the deck, you're going to get a good idea of your coil position. Uh, the wicking... Again, it's it's straightforward. You saw the way I done that with um, the, the the cotton. Uh, obviously, cut it to lengths the side of the deck, raked it out, to give it, make sure we get that capillary reaction, saturated in juice, then tucked into the wicking ports, but didn't shove down. Just kind of laying on top, slightly in. Obviously, don't overpack. 
because that's why we rake it out and you end up with dry hits. But make sure you put enough in the wicking pots so you don't get the deck flooding. Um, honestly, guys, it's as simple as that. I'm not going to keep going on and on and on about this, but it is a really good top flow, top airflow RTA. And for me, it's my favourite RTA of 2019 so far. Really, really enjoying using it. Really am. Let me have one more vote. Or maybe two. So, as you can see, there's nothing really negative I've got about it at all. It might, it's, it, for me, it's not on a perfect RTA. Um, and Geekvake have done a fantastic job on the on the evolution of this Zeus kind of series of RTAs. Out of the three, this is my favourite. And, it, well, I can see what all the fuss and all the hype was about. I mean, I've got a shout out to um, Hip Hop Juice for sending this out to me to review and have a try of. And I appreciate them sending it out to me because um, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this RTA. And obviously, if you hadn't bought one yet and you're still thinking about it, well, I think you should maybe kind of get onto your online shop or your local vape bricks and mortar and possibly go and buy one because I don't think you're going to find one better for a while this year to be honest with you as i said i think that kind of wraps it up now guys for this review it's been a, a bit of a love fest i must admit i uh, can't really find anything negative about this rta at all i love it i absolutely love it and uh, as i said thank you to hip hop juice for sending it out to me price wise you're going to be looking between 25 to 30 pounds in the united kingdom to purchase this uh, obviously worldwide have a google have a look on the World Wide Web, looking at about, I don't know, $30, 25 to $30 mark for this RTA. Um, highly recommend it. Well, I, I, I love it. And uh, obviously for me, you know, it's, uh, it's it's proper smooth. A bit like Luther. Proper smooth airflow. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed, enjoyed reviewing this, as you can tell. I'll be back again soon with some more reviews. If you're not subscribed yet, why haven't you subscribed? Please subscribe to me. Please like the video. I love you all. Until next time, vape on, and goodbye for now.